Hello and welcome to Stalls TV. I'm Bob Robinson. We're glad that you are here. We're broadcasting live on Facebook. So uh, just briefly, let me uh, just mention that if, uh, just let us know that you're here. Type in some comments there on the side, say hey. Uh, also, if you got any have any questions during the uh, actual seminar, just uh, shoot those in there and uh, Joe will read them to me because I can't see those things. Anyway, we, uh, we're glad you're here. We're talking today about increasing profit and safety with Reflective 2. Now, Reflective 2 is a, one of our newer uh, heat transfer vinyls. We're going to kind of feature that today and talk about why and, and, and what makes this such a, a great product for us. So, in the world of HTV, there are a lot of different types of special uh, effect finishes that you can choose from. Uh, one of the hottest, is ref hottest trends is, is Reflective. There are a lot of, um, a, there are several different applications that can be like winners for you as a, as a business owner, as a, as a decorator. And we're going to look at just a few of those uh, today that are going to just kind of demonstrate uh, when you can best use this type of material. So why reflective? Well, it's all about visibility, uh, especially in low light situations. It's kind of a, a duh moment, kind of a given. But um, yeah, the most common and obvious is going to be for like roadside safety for uh, roadside workers. Now, that's a little bit different animal than what we're talking about here because in most of those cases, the federal, state, and local municipalities require a certain certification uh, for these type of workers. Uh, but the good news is, as this shows, most of their, well, hello, most of our, their wear uh, has already pre-decorated with the proper amount of reflective material that meets certification. So, but just to be safe, um, you would use the, the, the 3M Scotch Light 5807 on there because it is ANSI certified and it meets all those criteria. But for everything else, and that's what we're going to talk about today, I should have just called this, this everything else, uh, we're going to looking at the Reflective 2. What makes it special? Well, it's the ease of use. It's uh, the fact that it go, it, you can cut very fine detail. It goes on a nice low temperature. Uh, and it, uh, it's uh, significantly less cost than the, than the Scotch Light. So for everything else besides those certified uh, areas, that's where the Reflective 2 comes into place. Um, there's a lot more folks who are, than, uh, who are safety conscious, not safety conscious, but are uh, fitness conscious. And doing uh, like people who are cycling, who are runners, and they need the same type of visibility that the roadside workers do. We all have day jobs, unfortunately, for the most part. Some people do work differently, but um, so it sometimes puts our, our uh, exercise routines into the morning, early morning, and sometimes into the evening where low light situations are critical. So we need that same safety for, for those folks who are fitness conscious, who are out on the roads, whether they're cycling, whether they're, whether they're running, uh, or just a fitness walk, et cetera. So, uh, let's take a look at a, a typical uh, application. I actually want to very start from the beginning. We're going to start. We're going to cut, weed, and apply a design onto a pair of uh, running pants. So, got my material already set up using the Roland GS24. I already have a design in my computer here, so we won't show that portion here. But I am going to go ahead and uh, send it to the cutter, and we'll just see how easy this is to work with. Very typical of reflective material. I don't know if you can hear the actual cutting. It sounds a little different than standard vinyl, but it does have, a, there's a lot of glass beads there that give the reflectivity on this material. So there is gonna be an extra abrasion on your blade. So these are some things to think about as you're working with this, kind of like working with the glitter flake or uh, some of the other more textured materials. The glass beads that, that give you the reflectivity of this material can help start to wear on the blade. So you'll go through blades a little bit uh, more often than normal, but not, not horribly so. Got to advance this forward. Go ahead and cut it off. Works just fine on any of the cutters that, that we sell, the, the Graph Tech as well is not a problem. This was cut at 80 grams of force 
uh, at 30 centimeters per second. So it's kind of a very, very standard application, pretty much the same type of specs that I would cut standard fashion film with. All right, moving up to the weeding area here. I can get my stuff out the way. I think I've put a weed border around this. So. Now this material is a sticky carrier, so this would actually in, you know, help significantly had I put it on a, uh, a, the, the actual weeding table or weeding panel. I'm just out of room here. So, but yeah, I would love this to, for this to be actually on the uh, weeding panel. This is just extra material I need to get out the way. I don't like to cut away excess material with scissors because there's always that chance I'll leave a little sliver of material there that can show up that I don't see, you know, on the front end. But when I apply it, then I say, oh yeah, there it is, a little piece of silver. Detail is very, very uh, good with this material. I've cut even finer stuff than what we're actually going to demonstrate here, but do love the, uh, the fact that it's, the sticky carrier allows for that. be a great time for a question. Don't worry about the thing that would tear. We can pick those up just for speed purposes. Plus my eyes are really bad and I can never see any lines regardless of what the material is. So I'll let them seek themselves out. This has to be the highlight of your day. This design is designed to be just basically your, for your fitness type of wear, not necessarily a whole a brand in itself to brand a fitness wear, but this cute little clever saying, I don't know if you can actually see it yet, but it will say, I run while you sleep. And a little snobbiness to the, uh, to the fitness folks out there. In case there was any doubt, this does not apply to me. Bob, Andrew has uh, joined us late. He's questioning the uh, type of material you're using. Is it the uh, you know, 3M reflective or is it our new reflective tube? Yep. This, uh, yeah, Andrew, this, thanks, for, thanks for tuning in. This is our reflective tube. Uh, we, the, just to reiterate for those who came in just a little bit late, we reserve uh, that Scotchlight, uh, 3M Scotchlight for any situation where you need certification, where you need that ANSI certification, they're, they're calling out a specific type of material. This is what we call for everything else. So just your uh, more casual type of, of uh, application. All right, that's all done. Like I said, a weeding tape would help that significantly. Rather than trim all this up, I do have one already done. I'm going to grab this one. So yeah, we're working with the Reflective 2. Brand new product. Love the fact that it's ease of use, uh, the lower, lower price point, uh, and uh, the low temperature application. Using the Hotronics Air Fusion, my fave, well, the Duel's my favorite, but it won't fit in here. And we're going on to a pair of standard cotton jogging pants, capri length type of ladies wear, whatever you want to call those. So uh, utilizing the leg and sleeve platen, go ahead and uh, put that on. I'm going to kind of roll it off a little bit to the side, maybe not all the way to the side, but maybe three quarter to the front. Nice thing about the Air Fusion also is I, the Reflective 2 is already preloaded. I don't have to worry about pressure or temperature or time. It's already um, programmed in there. I've chosen it. I'm going to go ahead and preheat. Lay my design. 
Cover sheet, anybody feel like I should cover this? I don't see a need for it, but we tell you to, so I will probably do it. People sometimes get upset when I don't use a cover sheet, so I will. The main reason here was if someone had actually been using, say, SimStitch or something and didn't use their own cover sheet in this case and the adhesive would stick to the upper platen, that could transfer onto here and actually ruin a garment for you. Uh, so especially when you get into the higher end jackets and things like that where you really don't want to risk any potential problems there, that simple barrier there is going to be huge. The carrier of the, uh, the HTV itself, the heat transfer vinyl itself, makes its own carrier, is its own cover sheet, but this is more for protection for anything else. It is a hot peel, so I'm able to peel this off like right now, which is a bonus. Of course, you can't really test how awesome this is until you actually get into a low light situation and see the reflectivity here. So, nice thing here is we've, we've just this person who's wearing this is not only being a little bit snooty with their little phrase here, but they actually can be seen on the, on the side of the road as they're running or whether they're cycling. So, extra visibility for those people out in low light situations is huge. Now, it's not all about fitness. This reflective trend is, has actually crept into um, more of the athleisure, more of the casual type of, get back out of this, here we go, um, more of the, the, the everyday wear. Everybody still, you know, the way that our society is today, you need to be ready for anything. Everybody wants to have the same, you know, whether you don't need low light uh, reflectivity when you're at the mall or with the grocery store or whether you're going to the gym even. Uh, but knowing that you may segue into that later, it's nice to be prepared and it's become an actual fashion type of statement. Look at the big brands out there. Go retail, look around and see that they've actually added a lot more of the, of the reflective material. Sometimes it's the star and sometimes it's something very, very subtle. Sometimes it's just a couple, like three little dots on the back of a, of a track jacket. Sometimes it's lines, things like this, just, just for the, reflect, yeah, the, the visibility situation. Going to do another, um, another application of showing just some of the, more the athleisure wear. And athleisure is not just you know, us hanging out at the mall, et cetera. It's actually crept into the, uh, the corporate world as well. Uh, a lot of the designs designed for corporations, et cetera, utilizing the same reflective material. Bob, Steve would like to know if the Reflective 2 is a printable material. Reflective 2 is not a printable material. In fact, it's not recommended that we're actually layering on top of this either. It can be the top layer, but I wouldn't put it on the bottom. So we would want to uh, trap that design as far as that goes, but it's not printable. It is just a cut-only type material. There are some reflective material out there that are printed, and I've worked with some of them, but the what I have found is it, you don't get very good color saturation out of that, out of that silver that gives you, gives you that reflect, uh, reflectivity. So therefore, it kind of dulls everything down and also the inks take away from the reflective uh, uh, characteristics of it. I'll slide over here real quick and grab this tank. It's going to complete the ensemble, if you will. Those were boxer craft uh, pants, by the way, I believe. And this one is from Sanmar, it's a district. So, racerback type of tank, ladies wear. We're going to do the front and we'll show to kind of demonstrate the fact where the reflect material is featured and then a little subtle type of action there as well. So, slide this on, I'm going to pull this back. Now, this is kind of a little bit of a scoop neck, not entirely super scoop, but it's we're going to make sure that we get kind of close to the to the neckline here with this design, otherwise it'll be riding too low. Let's go ahead and preheat. As I have mentioned before, if you're in a production over and over, pressing over and over, your lower platen gets nice and warm, so that's actually helping to preheat. I've only pressed a couple times, but this actually does preheat the garment if, you, if you've been pressing for a while and your lower platen is still warm. Go ahead and line this up. I never like to get any closer than a half an inch away from, um, from any pre-printed or color change or a seam, anything that's, that's pre-existing on there. It just looks, starts to crowd it. doesn't look natural. Go 
covering and pressing. Applications um, instructions on this one is uh, there's there's two different there's a range of temperatures it's 290 uh, to 302 290 being for the synthetics the 302 more for the for the natural or cotton fibers but it does adhere to cotton polyester blends and even uncoated nylons so it's going to be a nice universal type material for you now we're going to go ahead and enhance the back of this has a lot of um, athleisure and even fitness wear. We've actually created this fictitious brand called Fit Active Wear. Don't look for them on your uh, on the on the Google cuz they don't exist. Maybe they do. I just they do. I'm sorry if I plagiarized your name. I just made it up. I'm going to do a little cheat. We've got some seams here. I don't think they would be a problem, but just for a demonstration purpose only, I'm going to take a print perfect pad that has been cut down. I didn't actually cut this down, it was already here because we've obviously run into situations like this many times. And now I've just raised up this area so all of those seams are falling off to the side. I'm going to take our little very subtle tone on tone reflective fit logo and put this on the back here. I'm going to have to get in front. Now on an, any other type of press I would have been testing my, uh, my pressure etc. to make sure that, you know, I just put a whole extra 3 8 pad in there, but this being the air fusion, it's going to adjust on the fly and automatically give me the optimum pressure. It's set at 60 PSI and we will, regardless of the thickness of the item that's in there. Yes, I didn't cover because I'm just, because I'm this, that big of a rebel. And there you go. It's going to be a little bit difficult to see with the lighting that we have here until I turn it a certain way. There you go. And then, of course, on the back, very, very, very subtle. You saw that up close, just that, that branding on the back. So I see you coming and going. So all about, all about visibility, utilizing the reflective tube. So we've looked at some, um, we've looked at yeah, you know, of course, the roadside workers, we know that's you're better off just staying with the uh, with the higher end uh, material when in the, in the uh, 3M Scotchlight. Uh, we've seen the athleisure. Uh, we've seen um, just the more corporate type of wear. Some other situations, this particular shirt enhancing a, an existing design. OK, this one could have been any material, but because you've got some reflective material there, I can get more for this. So this is increasing your profits by using, utilizing a, a special effect, reflective material. Same way with the uh, corporate wear that we have here, or corporate accessories. Of course, a shameless plug for stalls on there, on the front end. Um, it works. It's a nice tone-on-tone -tone look. Do you have a question, Joe? What do you got? Rosemary would like to know, can you use the reflective two for the rip-away applique with uh, embroidery? I'm going to give you a guarded yes, but I have yet to test it. I know I am 99% certain that you can because of the makeup of the material and the fact that the other products do as well, but we'll get back to you on that one. I have, don't, have not actually punctured with the needle on that particular material. I don't see why it would be a problem, but, but uh, we'll, we will test that for sure. But thanks for that. It's a, that's a great, it's a great option though too, uh, utilizing that reflective material in the uh, ripaway applique is going to be, again, another big money maker for you. Because not only are we now are doing higher end applique, but we're also using a special effect material that's going to add more, uh, more, more value to what you're already doing. And the thing is, it doesn't cost any more to produce, other than just a little bit more for the material, which is really in the big picture is, is not that much. And la lastly, well, there's other cases. We, know we showed the athleisure. We showed the, uh, the fitness wear. <coughs> Excuse me. But also, uh, children's wear, Halloween costumes, uh, nightclubs, uh, even security. I can get into pretty much any venue by pressing this reflective security logo on the back of a black t-shirt and I'm pretty sure I can get, get in just about anywhere. If you get busted for that, it wasn't my idea. That's your problem. But it's a, it's a, it's a great, another good market you can be adding to that is the security. And lastly, don't forget about first responders. Uh, fire, EMTs, that type of thing. The design you see here to my right uh, the Connellsville Fire and Rescue is a perfect, um, perfect pr 
example of utilizing the reflective material for these types of fire and rescue. Um, while their, their gear, their actual professional gear, is got the right amount of the optimum reflective material on that, all the other things, the, the, the one that we wear to the, to the meetings and I wear to the church or to, my, you know, to the local club, whatever, just my jacket that I'm proud of my, my, uh, my fire company. And even better here, if you got a, an action shot uh, of someone actually fighting a fire. Hopefully this is from, these are the same guys in the Connellsville Fire and Rescue that we took up. No, I stole it from Google, but um, that would be a great, a great concept. So this was done on a uh, solvent inkjet printer cutter kind of power clip the design into the oval and then just uh, enhanced it with reflective material. Yeah, so all the stuff on the job, that's the, that's the high-end product. Everything else, reflective too. So, reflective designs aren't just for roadside safety. Um, consider how you can increase your profits by enhancing your already existing designs or add, offering this uh, the step-up version to your customers, utilizing the re reflective too. That's pretty much what I have for you today. We do have, uh, I do want to uh, uh, plug our workshop Wednesdays. We just finished up yesterday um, with our workshop Wednesday. Coming up on May 23rd, we have Vinyl Cutter Boot Camp for the Roland GS24. That runs from 9 to 12. And the, you can find, this will be happening simultaneously, well, almost, uh, in our Texas location, in our California location, Arizona, Florida, as well as Michigan. So check out the Stahl's website. You can sign up for it there. Our next live class is in two weeks, and we're going to be talking uh, about, my gosh, it's got five names. Sticky vinyl, decal vinyl, adhesive vinyl, sign vinyl. It's the same stuff. We're going to be talking about that, uh, ways that you can, uh, you can, again, increase profits and some best practices on how to use the product and introduction to it. So thank you for today. Appreciate your attendance. We'll see you next time.